We've been hired as the Bradford City Manager in League 2. We've got some pretty decent finances for this division. And the board do want us to finish in the playoffs. You know, promotion is our goal at some point in time. However, we have a bit of a rebuild to do, considering the fact we don't have many midfielders. We don't have a right back. We have one decent centre back. We've got an okay left back and not really a goalkeeper. So um, if we're going to get promoted, we need to sort that out right now. We are starting our journey with Bradford by rebuilding the team first of all as we have done off camera and playing our first game in the League 2 against York City away from home. We are now officially predicted to finish in 2nd place which I think is an incredible job considering we were 6th place at one point. We have improved the team in many ways, we have made sure that we have the players that we need to get promoted. I think promotion could seriously be on the cards for us this year. But you guys want to know what has happened since last time we saw each other in that wee teaser with the transfers. So if you smash the like button, if you subscribe, if you're new around here, I will do exactly that. Can we please smash 10 likes on today's video to celebrate being at a new club, Bradford City, our third club in the tactical journeyman save. And without any further ado, let's take a look at the entire tactic. You know, I'm not even going to sit here and try and explain who's new and who's not, because you're meeting the team for the first time. I will tell you who's new and who's not, but let's just run through the team and the tactic. We're going with a control position. And uh, that, that, first of all, is because, well, we are trying to change tactics each time. And last time we went with a counter-attack, and the time before that we went with a, a, a wing play sort of alteration. It was kind of like a low... Uh, I don't really know what it was, but anyway... We're going with control position because we haven't done it yet and it seems like it will work for our players. This is a tactic. It's slightly tweaked with a slightly higher defensive line distributing to the fullback. So working it out from defense, passing it all the way up and hoping to finish our dinner up front. And the man that we do have up front is Sam Nombe. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right. Sorry, I was interrupted by myself there. Um, so he's a good striker. He's apparently a winger and a, uh, a right wing and a left wing. He's been here last season, scored a couple of goals, so can't be too bad. Been in the league one too. Good pace, good finishing. I think he's a fine striker to start us off. Not going to complain if we find a better one, but this man on the left, he'll be supporting us with the goals. It is potentially one of the best players in the league Okaflex comes in as our left winger, could play striker or right wing. He's a good League One player at this current point in time, and he came in last season on a free. He's a very good player. Very happy to have him in the squad. I think he's going to do bits for us on that left wing. A new signing is a Lico out on the right hand side. One point eight thousand pounds per week. Not too, not too expensive. Our most expensive player I think is earning about two point six, and I think it is. Oka Flex uh, with 2.8, yes I was correct. Um, so Leko comes in with pace, ability, a couple of Premier League appearances all the way back in the day. He's not quite really stuck to where he has found his feet yet. I'm hoping League 2 will be his division. He's got good stats. Winger on the right hand side I think is a great way to switch it up from two really attacking players on the left. So we'll take that. Next we've got an advanced playmaker on attack and it's a new signing again. Oakley Booth, who I think looks like a great player coming in from Stoke City. We're now on loan in the League 1 to decent in this save. Uh, so, you know, League 2 should tear it up. That's who we've got in that position. Lewis is a current player for the side. Well, maybe not in real life, but we didn't sign him. But he looks very good. Played very well last year. Uh, left back as well, but I'm going to play him centre midfield because I feel like that is where he's going to do the most good uh, with all of those amazing stats across the board. 25 years of age, very good player. Deep line playmaker, two playmakers, I know. Switching it up, Daniel Williams comes in and he looks like a very good CDM. Got good teamwork, passing's very good, vision's very good, so deep line playmaker works well for him. And at right back, we've brought in a new player, Luke Mathewson, who is, uh, sorry, Matheson? Ma Matheson? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Maybe I'll just go with Luke for now. But he comes in from Nottingham Forest after going around from Wolves and uh, having some loan spells. He's now in the League 2. And I think he's going to be a decent player for us. Not the best, not the worst, though. A decent player indeed. Boller comes in as our left back. Very good player. Already considered to be a leading Skybet League 2 player. 
and uh, has previously been at Rotherham and Arsenal all the way back in the day. So very happy with this signing. Looks like a good one for now and potentially even for the future for a while. Fish is definitely a man for the future. Comes in from Manchester United and he has had some loan spells. Looks decent. Nine tackling worries me, but the potential to be a championship player is exciting to say the least. Ash, Astley, sorry, at the centre back spot. Not a re- no a real player for for Bradford City. My apologies. Looks like a great. Oh, maybe not actually. Maybe not. Maybe not. But he's a very good player either way. Coming in from Everton back in the day, and he was in our team last year. He's definitely our best centre back. Uh, young as well. Really good player. I had a bit of a panic with the goalkeeper though. So I ended up loaning in three goalkeepers because I couldn't find anyone to sign, and they all have zero wage contribution, which is exactly what I wanted. So I just ended up loaning in three. Pick my favourite. Lambert it is coming in as a Belgian man from Manchester City. Zero pounds per week. What a player to have in the team. Uh, I still would like a, a, a signed goalkeeper because apparently he's still only Vanderama National League level and uh, Harrison on similar level, just a, a good Vanderama National player. So you know, maybe not the best, but I, I back them to do the job. And down on the bench, we've got a lot of good depth. We've got uh, the centre-back coming in. Well, didn't come in previously at the pl- club. This left-back slash centre-back also at the club. Uh, this man coming in actually looks like he's got great potential. Could eventually be like a, a championship or League One player. So, uh, him, Shell Wood comes in from Brighton. Very happy with that. Taylor, another winger, central midfield option, Sunderland player, so not bad level at all. Needed to pause the recording again for a cough. Uh, Max Robinson comes in from Spurs, I believe. Uh, No, Norwich, sorry, previously at Spurs, but looks like he's got okay ability. Uh, Happy to have him as a rotation player. And then a pretty stacked reserves bench where I am trying to get rid of some players. Uh, Anyone coming in signed by me? I don't, I don't, I want to say no. I feel like everyone... That I've signed is either in the starting lineup or on the bench. I'm not. I'm not wasting my time with, you know, players that aren't really going to be making appearances anytime soon. But if you do want to see them, here here they are as I go through them. And this is the team that we have for Bradford, and I I, I do quite like it. I have to say it's it's ended up being a much better move than I thought it was going to be. Uh, the boys at Galway love them, obviously. Yep, I did spell it correctly. Have dropped down to second place without us. Not too surprised by that, but disappointing to see them down in that spot. They've hired a new uh, a new manager, of course. He has come in from Pat's St. Pat's Athletic, uh, from assistant manager to now a manager. So hopefully they do well. Not quite paying him as much as they were paying me, which makes you feel better about taking my pay dip. But hey, I think this is an upgrade in terms of ability. And we're going to jump to our first ever game. And then, after we do that, if you haven't watched the series, we just simulate a bunch of football because this is a a series where I try and give you two episodes per season. So this first episode is going to go show you this first game and we'll simulate all the way to the start of the January transfer window and probably play one game and, and tell you how the season's going. So let's jump into the first game. I'll simulate forward for ages. It will be about probably three days worth of simulating for me. Only a couple of seconds of waiting for you guys. So that is a team that I told you about. That is the team that we're going with. We have a couple of new players, obviously. So I do need to give some people numbers. Um, Lambert's currently our starting goalkeeper. So you can have that number. You can have a random number. Taylor is our left mid. So you can have... Mm, I don't back him that much. So I'm going to give him 31. But Leko I do quite like. Number 8 he can have on the right-hand side. And let's hope that he gets... Guns are blazing. Sometimes I get those those wingers that just sort of surprise me. You know, it's the, their stats aren't too good, but playing a player as a wing just sometimes causes goals and assists galore. I've had it a couple of times with um, Phillips all the way back in the day, uh, Reese Nelson in an Arsenal save, and uh, I'm sure I've had a couple of other examples, potentially not on camera, but definitely off camera from time to time. And here he is on the ball with the number eight on his back, switching it over to Okaflex, who of course we think is going to be a danger man, get some assist early doors, but it could just be offside. It is just offside. That would have been a great way to start our season after just three minutes getting the goal. But yeah, no, he's, he's well offside there. But shows the shows the finishing ab- ability Nombe has, and it shows the passing ability that Okaflex has. I do think playing them in that order 
is the way to go because I think Okaflex has such good um, passing that you've got to have him in that left wing spot to be able to get those assists as well as goals and Nombe is just sort of finishing his dinner and when you put Okaflex out on the wing he still gets those goals I mean he's, he's got the hidden ability Leko puts a ball in and that is a flying start for both of our wingers I mean of course Okaflex as I've said isn't on his debut but you love to see him starting the game well by getting a goal there. Great header, top corner. This York City side must not be hugely favourites to go anywhere this season. I mean, I feel like my perception of York is that they're not the best team. Yeah, no, they they've come up from the Vanderama National Vanderama, sorry, National League last season, so I'm not surprised to see us dominating them. Four shots to their zero, and of course, one nil, the most important stat of all. Is currently going in our favour, and I'm liking this team. I would also like to point out, when I was trying to sign players, obviously free signings was my main focus, and actually, if I didn't mention it, I I did sign every single player I signed on a free signing. Almost another goal there by Astley, our, uh, our centre-back, sorry. Um, I loaned in, sorry, I, I trialled in a player that we went for at Galway. And at Galway, he was considered to be the best player. Uh, five-star current ability. We loaned him in, sorry, trialled him in here, and he was, I think, two and a half star current ability. So not even worth signing. Um, if you guys are thinking, why did I move? I know it's a bit early in the save to, to be at three different clubs, but uh, that that's why. And this is why. It's Nombe linking up with Okaflex, and Okaflex is clearly going to be the best player of this season. He is a great striker, a great winger, and a brilliant finisher. And Leko... If, if Well, if Leko, Nombe, and Okaflex can be linking up like this all throughout the season, I don't think we'll have any problems pushing for those promotion spots. Uh, the, the, the Obviously, top three go up, and then the next teams go into playoffs. So, you know, like, I think we have a serious chance of pushing for promotion this year, that's for sure. At the very least, I expect comfortable playoffs. But I, 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 to be honest with you, the league title... It's it's not looking too it's not looking too bad today. It's she's looking queued up top there, and currently we're not in that position. It's where we want to be. Let's try and get another goal here. As Fish clears it, Sanford does it a terrible mistake, and Leko picks it up. Maybe he was trying to clear it, but either way, it's definitely not happened the way that you'd expect him to want it to happen. Ashley intercepts. Williams on it. He dawdles with it a wee bit, and now we're giving York their first opportunity to attack us. Williams does recover, but they get it straight back. Obviously. Ashley does pick it up though, back into Lambert, Lambert clears it long, and it is, in, uh, n uh, sorry, Nombe picking up the ball, sorry, I'm still learning names, and, and, and I still think my pronunciation is probably completely incorrect, oh, conceding, it's really frustrating, because we've been all over them, that could even be their first shot of the game, it's their fourth shot of the game, and I've scored, the XG is quite high to be fair to them, but maybe that defensive uh, tactic isn't quite working the way that we want it to. You don't want to be giving away chances like that. Well, conceding chances like that when they've only had four shots. And the first highlight that we're seeing on camera, especially when we've been all over them. And Nombe heading that one miles over the bar. We are going to have to make a substitute here. Well, we're not have to, but I'm, I'm choosing to make a substitute here. And it's going to be, first of all, this man, Hinzelwood, to come onto the pitch. We'll bring Oakley Booth off. And move Hinzelwood into the deep line playmaker because he is very good in terms of his tackling. 17 tackling by just having him in that deep line playmaker is a bit of a no brainer for me. Not the best passing. So, you know, even a, a, a ball winning midfielder might be the way to go with that incredible tackling. So, so let's do that for now. Um, Leco's playing well. Uh, Thomas Asante on the bench is a great option. So I'm, I might have to bring him on as the striker instead of Nombe. Even though Nombe has not played bad, it's just, you know. Good opportunity for someone else to get some game time. We do have a... No, you can't really play right back at all. Can anyone play right back, actually? Do I have a spear right back? That is a that is a great question, Raxo. Um, I might not have a spear right back. So, Matthewson, you can stay on. I might just make it those two substitutes for now. Let's not panic too much, you know. They've only scored one. I've only had one highlight. So, you know, it could have been a statistical anomaly... If we get another goal, of course, I'm going to feel so much more comfortable. Here is Fish in the mixer. P plays it back to Hinzelwood. Into Fish, back into Hinzelwood, and back into Astley. See, this is the control position that we want. Matheson on it, sorry. I think that's how you say it. Tries to play it in, can't get it through. But we do win the ball straight back. And that high press seems to be working at this point in time. Well, not that we have a high press, but, you know, the medium press, the 
the pressing to get the ball back, whatever we're doing, it is certainly working. As Lewis goes for a shot there, shoots it well over the bar, but at least those highlights are actually coming our way. 66% possession. Yeah, no, the control possession certainly working to a degree. Here is Lewis to whip a ball in. Fish and Astley you'd expect to be in the mixer. It is Asante going for the header. And off the crossbar with the goalkeeper making a fine save. Another bite of the cherry for us. It is actually cleared out. So that is the end of that highlight. We've got some tired players out there. So let's get Bola off and uh, Leko off. For some reason I thought his name wasn't Leko for a second there. Taylor can play in that position quite comfortably. Left only. So inverted winger. Seems like much more of an, uh, a winger than a in an inside forward with his 13 crossing there so it's very good pickup actually i'm looking at his stats as i bring him on there and thinking you know what this one was quite a good diamond in the rough five minutes ago it does look like we're going to take away the win would have liked it to have been a bit more convincing it looks better at the start but 2-1 in our first game away from home you take it plenty to build on plenty of transfers still to potentially be made so don't go anywhere we're simulating all the way to the end of december and uh, fingers crossed I haven't been sacked. Fingers crossed we're in the right end of the table. Yeah, I, I've had a mare here. I'm not going to lie to you. And, and I know you're looking at the table thinking, Rex, oh, you're top of the table. Have you had a mare? Um, my recording didn't work. So um, I am currently about ooh, maybe a month and a half recording this after it happened. Cannot remember for the life of me what is going on. But we're, we're, we're going to commentate over it. We're going to get through it together. I, I imagine I'm saying how well we've done because we are top of the table and we beat a bunch of sides and we're doing incredibly well. So I imagine that's why I was talking about there. Now I'm saying we made signings. These are the signings we made is what I'm saying um, in the non-existent audio. We brought in the centre back. He's not bad on a free. He's a good rotation option. I know how good these signings turn out to be because I remember them. But uh, I'm not going to spoil that because that would defeat the purpose of this series. Tavares. Tavares. Oh, my gosh. Mate, did he start? How, how many games did he play? I cannot see. I actually cannot see how many games he's played. Well, he started off well. Um, I might be spoiling how well he does later on. We brought in a goalkeeper. Dimitar Mitov. Mate, legend. Absolutely. See, I, I need to stop spoiling how well these people do. He's, he's uh, paid some money for him. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a good a uh, decent player for this division, League 2, um, 28 or 9 years of age, I'm, I'm looking at it on the smallest screen ever, I don't know why, Trevor, another free signing, great potential, not paying him that much money, and last but not least, Terrell Pennant, the one I'm probably the most excited about, I can't lie to you, um, he had pace, he has, he had, I, I, why am I saying had? We still have him. We still have him. We still have him. A month and a half later, obviously, we still have him. Um, we sold out this player, loaned this player. Oh, got all his wages off. Oh, my gosh. No, I do remember this. Mate, he, he, we paid him so many wages and finally got all of that gone. And uh, sold this player, which is beautiful. Um, so, yeah, no, it's, 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 everything's coming up quite well for us, isn't it? Um, if I could just see the screen, that would be lovely. Um, but I can't really, I probably should have set this up better. But it is what it is. This is the tactic we've been using. I might be talking about how I tweaked it from last time. I don't remember what the tactic was like last time. So that, this is the tactic. And it's working. We're top of the table by how many points? Oh, see, I needed him to zoom in there. I can't, I can't see from this distance. I, I'm, I'm considering... No, I can't pause the recording. I was about, I was pausing it. But I've just, I don't have that much, I, I don't have... I don't have area to deal with. Now, actually, my, my recording's slightly behind where it needs to be, so I've skipped forward just a tiny bit to hope that I've gone back onto the right path. I don't know what I'm saying about Astley here. If I'm not talking about Astley, it's because I accidentally paused it. Everything might be slightly delayed now. Bola, great signing. Great signing. 7.04 average rating. Is that what it says? I think that's what it says. If it does, it might be even higher. I cannot see. I cannot see. Um, uh, yeah, no, nah, it's good. It's good. It's going well. It's going really well. And we still have some budget. Um, we still, we, we're still going to play this game. This is the best 11 that we have, I think, maybe. I cannot read that starting lineup. I'm really sorry. I just can't. Who on earth is that? I have no clue. Okoflex, Pennant, Oakley Booth, Lewis, uh, Hindleford. I can't remember how you say his name. I can't read it. It's too far away. Um. Williams and him are starting to rotate, is what I'm saying here. Definitely. Hinzelwood. 
And Hinge Shellwood. Oh, I've been calling him Hinzelwood the whole time. Oh, no, that's not good. Um, oh, well. Uh, and Matthews, if you're new to the series, by the way, like and subscribe. Uh, Matthews at right back. Um, and then we've got Ashley uh, F Fish. Fish, it's Fish. Uh, then Bola and Mitov in between the sticks. And now we're jumping into a game, which, to be fair, I think I will be able to see well enough to, um, to you know, talk about it. So, future reference, Raxo. Um, just just to get you on the right point when you're editing this recording, so that all lines up. Uh, the it is it is three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes. There we go. Hopefully, I can sync it up with that information. Um, Bradford City, top of the league, quiet game. Northampton Town, seventh in the league. That's his fifth. That's his yeah. Okay, yeah. Should have set this up in a better way, but hey, I've started the recording and I damn expect to be finishing it in one go. Thank you very much. I am already uploading this very late. Forgot I needed to re-record this. Is this recording? It'd be a real me. It is recording. Um, and 40 minutes gone. First highlight finally coming, okay? That's that's good. The first time I talk about the game is when the game actually provides. And this, I think, is an us. Um, they shot it over the bar. No, that's definitely not us. Yeah, no, 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 because we're wearing... Our home strip, I can see in the bottom area. I can't, I can't move my mouse to show you that because, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not, re not recording right now, am I? It's post recording. Um, I've done this a couple of times. If you if, if you are new to the series, this isn't my first rodeo doing this. Um, and you'd think I would have learned. Uh, but no, 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 no. It's um, uh, it's easy. It's easy to forget to, you know, make sure that you device that you're talking to alone in a room is, is actually working in which case you're just being crazy aren't you you're talking to a device that's literally not working but a pennant intercepts here um nombe it's nombe oh nombe starting up top love to see it yeah because nombe just is quite good um yeah he scores goals and as we can see there he's, he's finished his dinner it's a great intercept by pennant showing that is it pennant or is it pier pier pennant no i think it's pennant I'm going with Pennant. I apologise if it's not. I think it's Pennant. Can I zoom? No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. Well, I could, but it might mess up my editing software. I don't know if I need that. But he intercepts, plays it through, numbers in, and uh, substitutions are going to be made. Is it? I really can't read that. I honestly cannot read that. But I'm substituting. I don't know who that was. I'm sorry. Oh, Trivet. Trivet's coming on for Oakley Booth. Then, um, oh, who did I bring on? Ruffles. I can see that now that he's gone full screen. Thank you. Ruffles is onto the pitch. Not a great left back, but does the job for us when we need to rotate the team. And, you know, obviously with top of the table by some distance. I cannot see how many points top of the table we are, to be honest. Are we by some distance? Is it like, is it 12 points or is it two? It could be one or the other. It could be neither of them. It's probably neither of them, actually. Um, but we are bringing on... Odu Cena, Odu Cena into centre back, bringing Fish off. Uh, then Lewis is coming off, and um, cannot read that name. Uh, someone else is coming on, and you can read uh, Williams. Williams, I think. Yeah, I think it's Williams. Yeah, Williams has come on, and he's playing, and it's ninety minutes, and I've paused it for some reason to make another substitute. See, in height, like I mean, I'm, I'm spoiling it here. I think we win this game. Don't remember, but I feel like we do. Don't need to be messing around with it that late, Raxo. You know, come on, like, just just get the game over and done with. Thank you very much. But that's that's great. Won a game on camera. Can tell you in the future we'd struggle to do that at times. Oh, my goodness. Well, okay, let stop talking about the future of the save, Raxo. It's not helping your longevity type situation. Then I'll click on videos if you know what happening. Um, oh, I think we're eight. Is that eight points clear? I couldn't, I really couldn't read it. If I could show the table at the end, that would be good. To the point, why am I talking about, oh, I'm Galway, Galway, Galway. Yeah, no, the team that I used to manage. I remember that. I remember that. That was, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say how long ago that was. And time-wise, it was a while ago. Um, but I'm not going to say. They, yeah, they didn't get promoted. Um, so I made the right shout to jump ship over to Bradford. Absolutely. Because um, now we can actually see that, you know, the Bradford side, well, the, be the better of the two sides, realistically. Like, I, I, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that I made the right choice. Um, yeah, yeah. So that, that side has ended up going up. Uh, no, they didn't go up either. Yeah, so we just lost, and then they, they didn't go up. Yeah, I know. How disappointing. I can't. That's, that's, 
enraging me. Grr. Very upset that was for you. Um, maybe I'm talking about my Continental B, studying for Continental I think that's what I'm talking about because I did a wee circle around it. Um, I don't know, something about the teams. And oh, can you click on the Skybet League too, please, Raxo? Please. I would really like to know how many points we have. Just to say it. I don't think I've got any... Oh, that's the end of the recording. All right, see ya. Thank you.